Friday night's uh, shooting on the parkway that injured two police officers has many people, including elected officials, questioning Mayor Jim Kenney's dedication to the job after he made this comment late that night. I'm waiting for something bad to happen all the time, so it's I'll be happy when I'm not here, when I'm not mayor and I can enjoy some stuff. So. You're looking forward to not being mayor? Yeah, <laughs> as a matter of fact. Thank Well, council members, Sherelle Parker and Mark Squila join us now here on the set. Thank you both for coming in. Yeah, thanks for having us. Um, powerful statement yesterday uh, from both of you, but especially you on camera giving that statement. Uh, speaking of statements, let's put up uh, Mayor Kenny's statement from yesterday after he has some time to think about it. Uh, in fact, let me, I have it in front of me here if we're not going to put it on the screen. It is basically, in a late night, overwhelming moment of frustration, I said I was looking forward to no longer being mayor. Let me be clear. I'm incredibly grateful to be mayor of this great city and for the people who elected me to lead. Does that change your opinion? I thought we were going to hear a soundbite from you yesterday, but does that change your opinion on what you said um, yesterday? He, affir he affirmed it, and so now I'm concerned about all hands being on deck. We need a comprehensive approach, 110% coming from everyone, and our heads must be in the game. And the people in the city of Philadelphia, they need to know by our actions and our words that we're doing everything we possibly can to make their public health and public mm -hmm. safety our number so one priority. So do you priority. accept that statement from him? Yes, I do. He Listen, okay. he is the mayor of our city and I accept the statement, but I spoke my piece yeah, up yesterday about what I, what I thought about the statement that he made, but we need the mayor. We need his administration, my colleague, Council Member Squiller, um, the district attorney, the police department, this comprehensive neighborhood safety and community police and plan that well, we unveiled. We need it everybody. We've all been begging for that for years, and it doesn't seem to come to fruition. Uh, you know, people are screaming for his resignation. Do you want him to resign? Listen, it's up to the mayor to decide but whether do you, do or not you want, he, you think he, should? he resigns. Do you it's think the, he should? I think that's the mayor's decision. And to be quite frank, Mike, it might be salacious for some, but for me, I let him address that well, issue. Well, of course, it's his decision. Right. For, but for me, I, I want to make sure that I'm working with my colleagues, the mayor, the administration, mm -hmm. and every stakeholder well, we, are, we have We all want city. you to work together. Yes. Mark, should he resign? Well, I'm going to say no, because I think at, at this point, we need, we need the mayor to stand up and be with us on this mission. Um, resigning, I think, will add more chaos to a mix. I think it adds people in flux. Right now, we need leadership, and we need people to work together to get that leadership so people really are serious and know that we're serious about public safety here in the yeah. city of Philadelphia. Let me uh, get to some of uh, the comments from our viewers. Uh, some people, you know, understand what he's talking about. He says... He told us the truth while most politicians lie. I respect the fact that he was real about, you know, what, how he was feeling. The problem is bigger than the mayor's office. Is it bigger than the mayor's office? Absolutely. And anybody who's thinking that there's this one silver bullet, this one thing that if we did it in the city of Philadelphia, we could put an end to gun violence, they're uh, uh, full of bull. That won't happen. How do you get rid of gun violence? A, a That's the question. A multi-pronged approach, and it's a lot of things and a lot of stakeholders. Enforce the laws that are on the books. Think about three buckets. We have intervention, we have prevention, and then we have accountability and enforcement. And we've got to do everything that we possibly Would can. Would you agree with that? I mean, the, the uh, accountability... Uh, a word is keeps coming up. We all need to be held accountable, right, as the city of Philadelphia leaders. And we need, uh, like Councilmember Parker just said, we need to have the stakeholders in the room. And what I did is we had an initial meeting with, we had the meeting with the DA, the mayor's office, the police commissioner, the managing director's office, the city solicitor, the defenders association, and we hashed it out. You know, not everybody's agreeing on what we should yeah, do and what we yeah. can't do. But we had that meeting, we're having another meeting again on Friday, and this is important because we need to stand there united. The people have to know we are on this mix. We're together, and we're going to stand together and say public safety. The word stop and frisk came up so many times yesterday. Is it time to bring that back, 
but do it without abusing it like some police officers did. Uh, some. Uh, uh, agree. And we don't have to be put into a box here. Would you we're, be for stopping the press? But, but the people talk about bringing it back. It never left. It's a, a, a U.S. A constitutional provision. Um, you have to apply it constitutionally and have reasonable and, and just cause. And it has to be applied that way. But the fact that we want to ensure the uh, constitutional use of stop and frisk, enforcing the laws that are already on the books. It's as if folks are saying we can't advocate for criminal justice reform and say there's zero tolerance for any misuse and or abuse of police authority. Like that? we have to do one or the other. It's not that way. Where are you stop on, and stop and frisk? Probable cause is the key here. It, and it's still, we do this today. When you see somebody doing something that's wrong where they fit a description, you're allowed to go and address that person. I think we need to look from our top down, from our brass. We need to make sure our police officers know what they can and cannot do, and that's an important message too. And because make sure they confusion. follow that, and they have to follow that. And then there's accountability on the police side also for not following that. And so, you know, a lot of times confusion creates chaos, yeah, and that's what yeah. we have right now. Now, listen, I think we have time for one more. Uh, Malcolm, skip over that one, and let's go to this one. I'll just read it in case you can't get it on the screen. Uh, somebody responding to your powerful statement yesterday says she is going to use this time to run for mayor and the cycle continues just people uh, using this as a political uh, ploy to become mayor. Are you running for mayor? Uh, I am now a member of the City Council of Philadelphia. I have not made a public declaration. If I had, I would resign People think you're to running. run. Um, however, look, and this is what I would say today, yesterday or tomorrow, anybody who's running to be mayor of this city, to be our chief executive, you need to be willing to use every tool in Philadelphia's toolbox, state toolbox, federal toolbox, motivate, inspire, and encourage what do you people want to, to hear believe in our city. from Mayor Candy at 1.30 this afternoon? We're going to break into programming and bring it to you live. That what do you want to hear? He, that he's going to continue to do what we've been doing, and that's working together, like Councilmember Squilla said, all hands on deck, no finger pointing about who does this or who didn't do that, but everyone says, Hey, what's hear, my lane? You want to hear that too? I want to hear the same thing because we got to stop blaming other people for things that we could do as a city of Philadelphia and we need to stand together and make sure that we're all going in that direction and proving to the people that we have public safety as our number Thank one priority. Thank you for your energy and time. This Thank, morning, you. Both of you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you.